In the headlines, Ghana Bar Association offers 20,000 Ghana cities bounty for information on killers of lawyer Badumbi. Campaigns begin for NPP national executive positions after 15 regions elected officers at the weekend. Mark Jewels Anan joins NPP vice chairman race. And in Jasikan, the police has arrested a 21-year-old mother for dumping a day-old baby into a pit toilet. Last Saturday, a lawyer, Richard Badombi, who was traveling to Jirapa with his family, was attacked and shot dead by suspected armed robbers. Today, the Ghana Bar Association has placed a 20,000 Ghana cities bounty for information and prosecution of the suspects. The police have mounted a search for the suspected robbers who attacked lawyer Badombi's vehicle between Bandam Kwanta and Noiri in the Savannah region. In a press statement, the GBA shared that it will do everything within its power to ensure the arrest and prosecution of the perpetrators of crime and expressed grave concern about the upsurge in armed robbery and other violent crimes in the country. The campaign for national executive positions in the new patriotic party has started. This is after all regions except the central region completed their regional conferences to elect new regional officers for the next four years. The NPP General Secretary John Boadu, who will be launching his campaign for re-election Tuesday, says he deserves another term in office because almost all members of the current National Executive Committee are moving out of office or seeking new positions in the party. Boadu's argument is that the current National Chairman, Freddie Blay, is not seeking re-election. Besides, the current National Treasurer, Kwabna Bankwa is also not seeking re-election for the same position, but has entered the national chairman race. Aside that, the current national organizer, Samia Uku, is also not seeking re-election in addition to that, the youth organizer, Henry Nanabwache, is also not seeking re-election for the same position, but going for national organizer. Therefore, someone with institutional memory like myself ought to stay in the same position for a smooth transition. John Bwadu said in a radio interview on Accra based OKFM, OK monitored by Graphic Online today. His contenders are Justice Kodia, his contenders are Justin Kodia, Frederick Oparianza, and Charles Bisu. <laughs> Me too sure on M by but since you're a shell to so or not so M Bagion. Your national treasurer are not so or co chairman. Your national youth organizer say or co a friend is an organizer. And see Ushemu ye pa one she are not virtually was entirely new executives. And see general secretary and so and uh the Jumano as guide the OPR in terms of direction, in terms of operations, in terms of administration, in terms of organization, in them. And see, I'm a dream, you know, from Juma Amedi, ah, be seen, you know. So, I'm going to start to you as general secretary, I'm going to be a The national executive elections in the NPP is happening mid-July this year in Accra, and for the chairmanship race, it is going to be between old-timer and fifth-time contender, Stephen Ayesunti, Stephen Asama Boatin, Kwabina Abankwa Yeboa and Akwesio Se Eji, a former MP for a Jesu and Foreign Affairs Minister in the Kufo era. Today, a former District Chief Executive for Gumua East, Magjiwals Anan, has declared his intention to enter the National Vice Chairman position. This is what he told Graphic Online. Party financing, I think it should be sustainable financing scheme. One of them would be um, asking government appointees to pay a percentage, say 30%, to finance party activities at the grassroots and among others, to have sustainable financial base for the party. Uh, what would this money be used for and how will it be accounted for? Well, we will draw a scheme or a, a bylaw to govern it. For instance, if we send let's say 500 cities to each electoral area a month is not big enough. We have funerals in the constituencies. We have a delegate in the four sick. 
the secretary may need pen and paper to buy notebook to write minutes. These are all expenses that the party should assist. Here are some videos of what transpired at various regional conferences of the NPP at the weekend. <laughs> We take you to Jasikan in the Oti region where a 21-year-old mother has been arrested by the police for dumping a day-old baby into a pit toilet. She was arrested alongside an elderly woman believed to be her mother who is said to have helped the 21-year-old to commit the act. The incident is said to have happened on Friday. Residents through vigilance noticed the disappearance of the day-old baby and launched a search party after confronting the two mother of the baby and the elderly woman. The two then led them to the pit where the baby was found dead. And before we go, we take you to the northern region where a two-bedroom unit house built by the Tamale Cooperative Credits Union for its members has generated discussions on social media because of the 50,000 Ghana cities cost the contractor affair is said to have been able to use to build the houses. Here's a video of the building shot by the sewers who visited the project site and shared a video on Twitter. A two-bedroom house in Tamale, built by the Tamale Cooperative Union. Tamale Cooperative Credit Union. So this, this is the hall. Uh, okay. So we enter, enter the kitchen. There is a kitchen. Oh. Oh, it's it's nice. And it's going for the washroom. Let's say it was forty-one thousand five hundred. This is the bedroom. The second bedroom. Graphic Online's news and brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit our website graphic.com.gh and follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic Online TV. I am Juliet Echa Safo. Subscribe now.